Hi there and welcome. If you are new to air frying, I have three quick and easy must makes to start you out with in your air fryer. The air fryer that I will be using is the Cook's Essentials 5.3 quart. It is 1700 watts. So keep in mind if your air fryer is a different wattage, the cooking time is going to vary a little bit. With that, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first item is, and what most people start out with when they're new to air frying, I did the same thing, is to make frozen french fries. This is the only way I make fries anymore, is in the air fryer. They cook up beautifully. I went ahead and dumped what I had left in my bag, which was almost a full bag. Now you can put your fries in just like this, or you can spray some oil on top if you want to, not necessary. Duck fat is especially good on fries, but I'm not going to do that today. We're just going to go straight in as is. Okay, I have the temperature set to 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 minutes. Halfway through, I'm going to open up the basket and give the fries a good shake and then let it continue the remaining time. Okay, we are almost at the halfway mark. Before we get into that, someone is going to ask where I get this duck fat. I got this at my local Walmart. You can also get it on Amazon, and I will leave a link down in the description for you if you are interested in that. Also, I failed to mention, which people ask from time to time, did I preheat my air fryer? And the answer is no, I usually do not. I just put it in there and go. Okay, we are at the halfway mark. Just going to give this a good shake and put it back in and let it go for the remaining six minutes. Our 12 minutes is up. Our fries are done. All you need to do now is season these up the way you like it and enjoy. And the second must make in your air fryer is hot dogs. Trust me, you will never microwave your hot dogs again once you try these out in the air fryer. I have a couple of hot dogs in here. Now, I don't score these or anything. If you want to do that, that's perfectly fine. Now, we just made those french fries, so my air fryer is preheated. I usually go for five minutes, but I'm just going to go for four since this is already hot. No flipping, no shaking, no nothing. All right, our four minutes is up on our hot dogs, and these are ready. And finally, the third thing to make in your air fryer are burgers. I love cooking burgers in the air fryer. I do it at least once a week. I'm going to season these up real quick. I'm going to use rub some burger. Love this stuff. I'm getting low. I'm going to have to order some more. Again, if you're interested in this, I will leave a link down in the description if I can find it on Amazon. So I am going to season both sides and then we'll pop these in the air fryer. Okay, I have the burgers in the air fryer basket. It's overlapping this one a little bit. No big deal. This is going to shrink up a little bit. By the way, I'm using 85% lean ground beef. Let's pop these in the air fryer. All right, I have the air fryer set to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. My burgers usually take about 12 minutes. Time is going to vary on how thick or thin your burgers are. Just keep an eye on it. Halfway through, we are going to flip these over. Okay, we are halfway through the cooking time. Just going to flip these over and pop them back into the air fryer. See these shrunk up? They're cooking just fine. Back in they go. Okay, our time is up. Our burgers are ready. Now, if you wanted to add cheese to your burgers, go right ahead. I'm only going to make up one. Just pop it back in the air fryer. Don't turn it on. About 30 seconds to a minute, it's going to be nice and melted. Just under a minute, cheese is nice and melted. One more quick thing. If you want to toast your buns, pop these in the air fryer. You can butter them, spray them with some oil if you want. I'm just going to let it go in here as is. So I have the temperature again set to 400 degrees. It usually takes two to three minutes since the air fryer is hot. I just put it on two. Our two minutes is up and the buns are nice and toasted. 
So I can go on and on of all the wonderful things you can make in your air fryer. I will mention one more thing, and that is chicken. I will say it again. Chicken cooks up beautifully in the air fryer. Up here in the left-hand corner, I'm going to leave a link that you can click on, and it will take you to all my air fryer chicken recipes. And the video below that is whatever YouTube thinks you would like to watch next. Thank you for watching, and happy air frying!